What's up guys? My name is Destiny and I'm a licensed speech language pathologist, which is also known as an SLP. I take videos on the internet and analyze them and give my perspective as an SLP as to what's going on in the video. So some people pointed out that President Biden apparently has a history of stuttering. I'll be honest, I'm not aware of this history, but there is some documentation to support that. And I guess he's come out to say that he was a stutterer in the past as well. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't noticed it, but I also don't watch a bunch of speeches. I figured I'd check out a speech where some people said that he was stuttering and give my perspective on what's going on. So let's take a look at the video. Standing up against hate. Muslim culture is woven throughout the American culture, in music, film, literature, fashion, and the arts. And the cheer for Muslim, for, we cheer for Muslim athletes like Kareem Al 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 Abdul Jabbar. I know him, and I did mispronounce his name. Okay, in his defense, that is a really hard name to say, um, but I am noticing uh, a little bit of a stutter there as well. But he calls me Joe Biden once in a while. <laughs> Remains, and, and think of all the great Muslim athletes we saw in the Final Four. Folks, look, he remains an inspiration. There are even Muslim superheroes now like Mrs. Marvel. Mrs. Marvel. On that note, I want to mention one special guest tonight, a huge superhero fan from Lexington, Massachusetts, Omar Masood. Omar, where are you? There you are. Um okay, so there I heard it again. Um, it's minor, um, but I did notice uh, that he's stretching out a, a sound in a word. But let's keep going. You are Omar, the owner of Omar's World of Comics. All right, there you go. You're looking good, man. He sells comic books, hosts gaming tournaments, and most importantly, he offers job training for students with disabilities. Omar, Omar has Down syndrome and his store is a place where everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is valued and everyone can make a contribution. We're really proud of you, Omar. Thank you for being here, buddy. So something that I noticed that is really common with people who are um, therapized, I guess. So people who have a stuttering disorder, who have had the therapy, something that helps them is to kind of have like a sing-songy voice or to have uh, like a script, if that makes sense. So people who stutter tend to do better when they are singing or if they have already like if they're reading something, um, if they have a script in front of them, they tend to do better because they're not having to generate the speech off the top of their head. They have already practiced it. So it kind of like bypasses the typical pathways of speaking. It makes it easier for them to speak. So I'm noticing that with him, that when he's more informal, kind of like making jokes or feeling more comfortable, maybe a little stutter slips out, but when he gets into like that more rehearsed part of his speech, it sounds nice and clear. Um. We also have members of the House of Representatives here. Congressman Omar, where are you, Congressman Omar? There you go, God love you. I'm not supposed to get in trouble for saying this, but you look beautiful tonight. <laughs> and Congressman Tlaib, where's, where's, where's the Congressman? There you are, okay, so do you. And Congressman Carson? Oh, yeah. I don't know, man, what to say. <laughs> hey, hey, your dean. Is, I, I know. When he's calling out the congresswomen and men, he is a little bit more relaxed. And so you see the stutter come out. I noticed him do the repetition of where, where, where. So the, the word repetition. Um, and then again, like more of a, he had some sort of um, pause in his speech as well. So that that could be a form of stutter as well. Um, but overall, yes, I mean, it's very, very, um, it's very subtle. Um, people who don't stutter can have stutter type disfluencies and it be normal. It all depends on the severity or the frequency at which somebody stutters. 
as a speech therapist, if I have someone who comes into my office who is suspected of having a stutter disorder, uh, something that we would do is to get a sample of their connected speech. So we got a sample of Biden's speech here. It is not a full representative of everything that he says. Just a small sample of him speaking would suffice. So I would look at the type of disfluencies that he's um, presenting with. So he showed me that he had some part word repetitions. So when he was trying to do Kareem Abdul Jabbar's name, he had some part uh, part word repetitions there. He also had some whole word repetitions. So where, where, where. This one could be typical or atypical depending on how often it happens. So typically people who don't have a disorder can repeat whole words and it's not a concern. It just depends on how often that happens. I also heard a few kind of longer than normal pauses in between his words that could also be a form of disfluency um, especially if you're noticing like what we call groping when that's happening um, and i did notice that with him where he kind of was like moving his lips um, before he got the word out that could be what we call a block it basically just means a pause in between speaking that is longer than normal um, that is not necessarily intended by the speaker so i did notice that as well now the second thing i would look for is the duration of the stutter so Blocks are the easiest for me to talk about because it's measurable and it's ob it's usually obvious. So if someone is having a block, an unintended pause in their speaking, um, you would measure how long that block lasts. So if I was saying, my name is Destiny and I had a block, my name is Destiny. I would measure the length of that block and I would take uh, several samples and then I would uh, see how long each stuttering event lasts and if there were long periods of time for each stuttering event that would lead me to believe that there was a stuttering disorder present and that it was uh, pretty severe. The last thing we look at is the frequency. I've mentioned this several times already, but that is an indicator of a stuttering disorder. If you frequently have disfluencies, even if they're typical, like the word repetitions that I mentioned, then you probably have a stuttering disorder. The reason why I didn't really notice Biden's is because he really doesn't stutter very frequently and that could be because he's giving these rehearsed speeches most of the time and people with stuttering disorders tend to do better with rehearsed speeches. Um, he did mention it himself um, a couple of times in interviews that he had it as a child and we do see that in some people as they get older their childhood stuttering goes away. Sometimes it stays. It, de it just depends on the person. Um, and it also depends on whether or not they had therapy and how they responded to therapy. There are several ways to uh, treat a stuttering disorder. So I may have to make a separate video on that um, just because I want to do it justice. Um, and there's been so much research out there and so many different ways to treat a stuttering disorder that I feel like in trying to squish it into this video would be um, unwise. So definitely subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed what you saw and definitely check back in so that you can see the follow up to this video when it gets released in the future. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.